Jack here with yet again one more patching technique or a couple of different patching techniques in our retouching session. What we've got going on here is fixing this artifact, this anomaly, known as banding or posterizing. It's when our image is out of gamut, typically, of what can be recorded by the camera. These were taken by a little Pentex Optio W30 waterproof camera, my son paddling out. And this is what I want. I don't want any banding. I don't want that. And uh, there are oftentimes night shots, um, low light, uh, bright things, uh, things like that are going to cause uh, very saturated colors. It's going to cause this sort of banding. So we want to be able to get rid of it because aside from that, it's a great shot. Um, it's got all sorts of color going on and, and sharpness and detail, even though it had to uh, bump up that ISO because obviously it was getting toward uh, dark. So we'll get rid of that as a starting point. So let's start with this uh, technique. I'm going to take our starting image and it's a very very simple technique because all we're going to do is come up here and create a empty layer. Remember I option or alt click on the new layer icon that allows me to name it. Um, but aside from that there's nothing special about option or alt clicking down here on the new layer icon in terms of this particular technique. And then we're going to take our good old-fashioned healing brush over here. And uh, remember the healing brush should stay pretty hard. Don't think that you can soften it up and therefore get more quality. That will actually hurt the result. And everything else we're going to leave at the uh, default setting. Uh, the current and below where you don't obviously want just the current layer because there's nothing on it. Um, all layers is also fine. Remember, current and below is a new feature of CS3, so if you have some adjustment layers or something else on top of your current stack, it will not sample from that. It's a nice new feature. And remember, I like having a line turned off. That way I can sample from one area and do all my fixes. Because the healing brush uses the texture, but not the color or tone for the most part, for doing its little magic, you can get away with not having it aligned. Sample once and do all your fixes, which is what we're going to try and do here. I'm going to increase the size of my brush. Okay, I'm using my square bracket keys, open and close square bracket keys, using my Wacom tablet for a little bit more sensitivity. And uh, I'm going to hold down my Option or Alt key. That's going to let me sample. I'm going to be sampling from the noise structure that's inherent in the file. That's what it's going to be doing uh, sampling from in order to create this patch in order to fix this band. So I'm going to Option Alt click on a representative noise pattern, click, and then I'm going to use short little strokes here. And even though that tone isn't matching at all, when I let go, you can see that it's fixing that band rather nicely. Matter of fact, extremely nicely. And I'm going to come over here and just continue to work that out. We'll see if I will need to sample anymore. It's looking pretty good. And there we have it. How's that for... That's going to be the shortest, quickest, and easiest technique you're ever going to get from me. That's getting rid of banding and maybe some posterizing. we we'll do a little bit more up here. Banding or posterizing within an image for whatever reason. Out of gamut, low light, uh, oversaturated. There you go. A quick tip for doing a quick patch.